Hey guys, Sachin here. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, uh, I'd like to show you how to send an email with GetResponse or how to make sure that you send an email with GetResponse and it hit the inbox, not a spam folder because a lot of people are facing this problem when just getting started with GetResponse that these, uh, the emails are not landing in a inbox or update column. The email is landing in spam folder. And this is very uh, critical problem because uh, when you build a list, your email should be reached out to all the subscribers. Uh, all your subscribers should see the email. Uh, that is where you make a lot of uh, money with those email subscribers. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be sharing with you how to send an email uh, in get response and how to make sure that it hit the inbox update column. We're going to be doing it a live demo. I'm going to be sharing uh, email in get response so what i've done is i have per, uh, picked a random email swipes you can see over here not too much hype in that uh, so let's just uh, send out an email with my get response okay so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be copying the subject line just give me a sec okay so here we are in get response i'm going to be clicking on get create newsletters and this is just for a test demo so uh, go to html source editor over here click on it then we will type in here test and we're going to be pasting the subject line uh, super system updated okay so we're going to click on next step uh, and the reason why I choose the HTML code editor is uh, I know for a fact that when you send out an email with the help of HTML plus the text, uh, chances are your email is going to be landing in the inbox column. So let's just create an HTML code for this particular email swipe. So I'm going to be copying it here. And personally, I use blogger.com. Uh, you can create a simple blog. Uh, without any content on it and you can just to get the HTML code I'm gonna put it over here I'm gonna highlight it just make it uh, uh, a lot easier to, for people to understand okay and then we're gonna put in it our link now this is important stage now when you put your affiliate link or your website link uh, in this email swipe make sure that you put it through a tracker you cloak the link you don't put directly the affiliate link in here don't just highlight it and put your affiliate link in here this is uh, something which a lot of affiliates a lot of people a lot of business uh, owners are not doing and that is the main reason that the email is not landing in the update column because the reason is uh, i have picked a uh, this offer like a clickbank offer over here and this is an offer which is uh, from take for service for cash from clickbank now this offer is being promoted by a lot of affiliates and chances are this link is spammed by a lot of affiliates okay in a various different way and when a certain link is spammed by a lot of different ways Get response or the major autoresponders don't like that spam link in their email and that is why they have a very good spam filter and that is why they even if you have a good email swipe but then also your email would be landing in the spam folder so how to avoid it now I've got two solutions for it and now if you have your own blog WordPress blog uh, what you can do is you can use a, a pretty link which is a wordpress plugin uh, which is free uh, you can use this uh, pretty link plugin and you can just uh, insert the link in here so in this example i'm going to be clicking on this edit you can click on add pretty link and create a pretty link and you can just uh, add that affiliate link here like here i have added the clickbank affiliate link and this is the URL which got ready for me to promote okay so let me show you this one and also this looks pretty decent uh, professional one okay with your blog name and 
cache service. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, let's just go to Blogger and I'm going to be putting in this link over here. We're going to just be highlight it and just make it uh, blue so that it looks good. Okay, so we are done with the swipe. Then we're going to click on HTML and I'm going to grab this code, copy it. And then we're going to go to get response HTML code editor. We're going to paste it over here. Then click on this plain text. Go to blogger.com. Come to compose. Again, highlight it. Copy it. Then again, go to this one plain text. Paste it over here. Close it. And then test the spam score. And you can see the spam score is 2.48, but that is okay because maximum allowed is 5. And then we're going to do is uh, we're going to be testing this email if it is reaching the inbox or not. So I have just sent a test email to my uh, Gmail in here. So let's just see if it arrives in here. And then what I'm going to be doing is uh, I can just take the camera over here click on next step and then uh, it takes some time two to three minutes to land that email in the inbox so I'm gonna be choosing the campaigns I'm not gonna be choosing this bias list because this is my this is my gold <laughs> uh, again click on next step and here you can see uh, this email has reached in the inbox but this is just a test we're going to be doing a live demo of the of that email broadcast you can see also another important thing which i want to share with you that after this uh, my name there should be no gap between this two because get response also don't like these things okay uh, one of my accounts was banned only due to this reason so make sure you don't keep a gap uh, in your personal address whatever you have and your names that is it should be connected okay so that uh, the intention of it is uh, if people don't like your emails they they should be in a very good position to unsubscribe that is the only reason uh, which get response told me so make sure you don't have a gap in between this okay so uh we're gonna be going in here in get response uh, you can schedule it you can send it in this case we're gonna be sending it right now And here we are set. Well done. Your message will be sent in 56 seconds. Now, the most important reason which I was telling you that is uh, you can basically use click tracker or any kind of tracker. Don't just put your affiliate links directly into that email because that email is not going to be landing in the inbox column, which is uh, very important because most autoresponders like a Weber, Gift Response, they don't like spam links uh, mostly the links uh, the affiliate links from like jvzoo warrior plus uh, clickbank and this is the main reason that these uh, major autoresponders ban some of the uh, uh, autoresponders account uh, for a lot of marketers and this is the reason okay so make sure you it did this will increase the life of your responder too because you are uh, doing it in a very uh, good way okay so make sure we are all set a message is done we're gonna click on the dashboard over here and then we're gonna be just waiting for our email to rise in inbox updates column over here okay so uh, this is another tracker which I would recommend if you don't have uh, a click magic and you can try it out for like 14 days for free trial uh, this is another uh, tool which I would recommend if you don't have a WordPress blog. Uh, this is another tool, but yeah, it will cost like 17 bucks per month. But uh, when you look at it, when you have a list of like 10,000 subscribers and you, your business totally depend on your email list, uh, 17 bucks per month is not a big deal, my friend. Now, sh getting shut down your email autoresponder without any notice, it's uh, it's like burning your business so make sure you safeguard your email autoresponder through this okay 
So when you use click magic, it's a great, great tracking tool where you can get all the details of the, from where the sale has come, from which countries that, that you're getting clicks, that kind of thing. So yeah, you can see over here, the email has hit the inbox and this is not just like I have paused the video. You can see over here, my broadcast had been sent and the email has reached the inbox. You can click over here. And if I click this, it's going to be taking me to the ClickBank offer. Now, look at that. Uh, where you see that a ClickBank offer you're promoting and your email is uh, hitting the inbox. It's never happened. It's rarely. It, it is not because they actually, when I spoke to some of the autoresponders on support, on chat, they told me that they actually don't even like the ClickBank offers. That kind of thing. So, Make sure you use a tracker or you use a, a click magic. I would recommend if you don't have a website, you can use click magic. But if you have a website, you can always use a pretty link, which is very, very, uh, very useful plugin, WordPress plugin. So I'm going to be leaving uh, two links underneath this video for you if you want to try it out. The first I'm going to be leaving is uh, the click magic tracking tool, which is really good for uh, uh, tracking your affiliate links and say to be safeguard your email autoresponder and then next I'm going to be leaving uh, for those people who are looking to join get response who want to have an email autoresponder get response is the best choice why because they have no restriction over that single opt-in and double opt-in you can disable that uh, subscription right away without any uh, restrictions okay so this is really good get response autoresponder for those people because if you go to a web app, you have to contact the support tell them how you are building a list that kind of thing so it may be not easy for the newbies for newbies I would recommend get response as a good autoresponder because it will allow you to disable the single opt uh, the double opt-in feature instantly okay so uh, I hope this video has helped you on how to send an email with get response and you can see over here our email has reached the inbox column okay so if you still have any questions you can comment below my friend uh, that's it voila we will check out in the next video my friend okay with some of the more helpful tips in internet marketing niche okay so such you know signing off and have a great day bye bye